Hi, I'm Amy Smith, and I teach fourth grade at Parkman School. And I'm Janice Serrato. I also teach fourth grade at Parkman School. Next year, the students are going to be starting a writing program that goes along with Lego, where they will get to go down to a Lego lab and will be given various prompts to actually create a scene and build, and then they get to write about it. And lots of other components go with it as well. They'll be able to use technology to video and photograph whatever it is that they created, and we'll be bringing it back to the classroom and using it to develop stories. Additionally, it integrates the kinesthetic aspect of learning where children, again, build to a prompt, um, they use technology because we will be getting six tablets. So really the purpose, I think, of the Legos is to kind of get their imagination going, get their stories going, really kind of develop character. There's, you can see there's so many different props that they could use to add, which I really think will help to develop their details in their story. And I think that was the purpose of Lego, is to really kind of get them to build elaboration and detail into their writing. And I think with the Legos, they'll be able to start and to do that. Jay, I have met with a small group of fourth grade teachers where we kind of went through and aligned our curriculum with the Lego curriculum. So we looked for places that we could integrate both what their ideas were and kind of how our curriculum is developed. And the tablet is, is user friendly. I did find that it was so easy to manipulate through it. We could take the photo, we could import it into almost like a storyboard. And then the storyboard, get, then you can put a dialogue bubble in there. So. I, I thought the tablet was very simple to use. Um, along with CCSS and our Making Meaning, I think you did a great job aligning it. There's opportunity for listening, speaking, you know, creating, writing. So it does support what we're currently doing in the curriculum. They're very flexible. I mean, they seem to say if you can tweak it and move it and kind of gear it toward how it really fits towards your curriculum, then they were pretty open with that. The administration has dedicated a whole classroom um, by moving one of our colleagues out of her classroom. We now will have a Lego lab. The kinesthetic aspect of building with Legos, but the technology, the using the tablet, taking photos, being able to develop it from there. Um, and just, I think, to the speaking and listening. The communication right. is key. They, they're really going to have to talk about what they're doing. Because um, a lot of it is does involve group work, so a lot of collaboration with each other, which I think is a huge skill, life skill. And I think that whole piece to it, too, is just it's going to have to make all those connections. But what I do love is that Making Meaning has provided opportunities for these children who are now coming up to fourth grade to have already established how to work with partners, how to work with groups, how to collaborate. So what we've already had in place supports that communication and now CCSS, that new drive for speaking, listening, and all of that, it's, it, that'll be a good thing. 